The representative candidate will be looking at that later on in the program. But first on our top stories, the Nyeri High Court is expected to give a ruling this morning on whether Governor Mutahi Kahiga and the Mathira MP Rigadi Kashagwa should appear in person in the ongoing inquest into the death of the former governor of Nyeri Wahome Gakuru. Our reporter Clement Masongo now joins us live from Nyeri for details in this ongoing case. Good morning, Clement. What's the latest from Nyeri? Good morning to you. Indeed, from uh, Nyeri County, we were expecting a ruling uh, on the on whether the governor of Nyeri County, that is uh, Mutai Kahiga, and of course the Madera member of parliament, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa, would, should appear in person to give their testimony in uh, what they know about the death of the third governor of Nyeri, uh, that is uh, Dr. Wahome Gakuru, who died in November 2017. But uh, from uh, the, w w what you can report so far is that the ruling has been deferred to a later date, that is the 18th of August. The judge has said that the ruling is not yet ready and uh, they need more time to, 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 to write and uh, get it ready, of course, before the, before the verdict is given. So so the, this means that uh, the inquest cannot proceed until that uh, verdict has been given and of course it means that they will have the parties, uh, the witnesses and of course any other person involved in the, in the hearing of the inquest will have to wait for, a, for, for almost another one month before they, before they know whether the governor or the, Rigadi, or the member of parliament for Madera, that is the Rigadi Gashagwa, will be appearing in person to give their testimony. But like I had reported earlier, uh, uh, the, reason, the reason as to why the governor, the current governor of Nyeri, was asked to come in person, or someone to come in person to give his testimony, is based on uh, sentiments that he made during a Riki Mass of uh, Dr. Ahome Gakuru in November at the Dedan Kimadi University. You remember that uh, Governor Mtaika Higa had said that on uh, numerous occasions he had warned the, the then governor, Ahome Gakuru, against using the Mercedes-Benz car that uh, that he was traveling into Nairobi where do, when it got uh, when it crashed so it's uh, upon that that he was asked to come and give uh, his uh, testimony what whatever information he had before before the death of uh, the governor also other persons that uh, other persons of interest that are set to appear before the the the, the magistrate to give their testimonies are the Mr. Paul Ombugu the chief of staff of uh, Nyeri county government as well as the county secretary Mr. Ben Gashisho. The two are uh, supposed to come because they were the ones in charge of allocation of staff and the cars to the then governor uh, Wahome Gakuru. So they are also supposed to come and give their testimony and uh, share any other information to the public or to the courts on what they know about the death of the former governor uh, Wahome Gakuru. So that is all that is happening here but of course uh, now that that ruling has been deferred to a later day of course from here we shall be focusing on uh, the visit by Martha Karua here in Nyeri County where she's expected to come and uh, make uh, ad address uh, various political rallies in all the six constituencies of Nyeri County. Of course, beginning with the Madera constituency in Karatina before proceeding to Mukuruine, Odaya, Tetu, Nyeri Town, and later on she will be ending her tour from uh, uh, Chaka, that is the Nikene constituency. So that is what we shall be shifting our focus now. Uh, to, uh, we will be fixed, uh, fixed, uh, shifting our focus too now that this ruling has been deferred to 18th of August. Well, Clement, Clement, thank you very much for that. That's definitely something we'll be following up on. Um, and for the campaign trail, we'll be following up uh, on uh, Martha Karua in Yuri. Now, Deputy President William Ruto will be leading his Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade on day two of their.